the Bible only definitively tells us about the deaths of two disciples. One, Judas Iscariot, the betrayer of Jesus, died by suicide by hanging, Matthew 27 verses 3 to 6. Two, James, son of Zebedee, beheaded by King Herod Agrippa I around 44 AD, Acts 12 verse 2. The details surrounding the deaths of the remaining apostles are uncertain. Tradition holds that most were martyred for their faith, facing various forms of execution throughout the Roman Empire. For the other 10 apostles, history and tradition offer a less clear picture. Here's a breakdown. Three, Peter. Tradition says Peter was crucified upside down in Rome under Emperor Nero around 64 AD out of humility as he felt unworthy to die in the same way as Jesus. Four, John. Unlike the others, John is believed to have died a natural death in Ephesus at a very old age. He was the only disciple who it said was present at both the beginning and end of Jesus' ministry. Five, Andrew, believed to have been crucified in Patras, Greece, on an X-shaped cross, similar to a saltire, at the command of the Roman governor. Six, Matthew, tradition suggests he was stabbed to death in Ethiopia, possibly while preaching the gospel. Seven, Thomas, accounts say he was martyred in India, either run through with spears or pierced by arrows. Eight, Philip, early sources suggest he was crucified upside down in Phrygia, Asia Minor, after successfully converting many there. Nine, James, son of Alphaeus, this James is believed to have been stoned and then clubbed to death in Jerusalem. 10. Bartholomew. Accounts vary, but some traditions say he was flayed alive and then beheaded in Armenia. 11. Simon the Zealot. Martyrdom stories suggest he was sawed in half in Persia, possibly due to his unwavering faith. 12. Thaddeus. Jude tradition suggests he was martyred in Persia, possibly with Simon the Zealot, though details differ. Only John, the beloved disciple, is believed to have died peacefully of old age. Though the specifics may be lost to time, their unwavering dedication to spreading Jesus' message is a testament to their faith.